Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Deck Station. Now this is gonna give you a desktop experience using your Galaxy S8 or your Galaxy S8 Plus. Now you can buy this from Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price, 150 bucks. Now a lot of people wanna know, is this a gimmick or is it worth it? So let's find out. Shout out to the white shoes, back in the building. All right, so here we go. Now I'll just unbox this. We'll take a look at the hardware. Then I'll take it upstairs and set it up. Samsung Deck Station. Now you got support for HDMI, UHD 4K, Ethernet, and you also get two USB 2.0 outlets. And that's pretty much it. Let me grab a little unboxing knife. What we got today? Shout out to the Huntsman. Rah. Here we go. All right, so inside, here's your Deck Station. Usual books and shit, a little bit thick. Pluck it, file it to the side. And you get your Samsung fast charger. And this is gonna be USB Type-C cable. Now, let's take a look at this now. <laughs> of course, I ordered the wrong one, but I got plenty of chargers, so who cares? Little plastic on the bottom. Oh, that's actually the top. Okay, more plastic on the bottom. Now, I'll peel this off upstairs so we can stick it on the desktop. Let's see on the back, here's your two USB 2.0 ports. There's your ethernet, HDMI, and USB Type-C. Now on the top, let's see, you got a little arrow. This slides open just like that, and on the inside, there's your USB Type-C. Now let me slap the phone on and see if we can rock this with a case. Let's see. All right, we're gonna have to peel the case off. The case is a little bit too thick. And it's going to look like that. Now, this might be a gimmick. It might not. But I know one thing for sure. It's going to look dope on my desktop alongside of the uh, Samsung Fast Charge. So you get two phones, two charges. Now, is this going to be worth a buck fifty? Let's connect in and see. My bad, y'all. I had to take a phone call. But anyway, I'm going to take this upstairs. We'll connect it. And we'll go through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all. So we're back in. Now I got the Samsung DeX connected using the USB Type-C cable that came with it and the Samsung fast charging power brick. Now on a side note, you can't use a USB hub. You're gonna have to use that Samsung power brick in order for this to work. Now in the back of the DeX, we got an HDMI cable connected from the big screen TV directly into the unit. I got a Bluetooth keyboard paired up to the phone and I got a wireless mouse with the adapter plugged into the back of the DeX. All right, so let's connect the phone and see what happens. All right, so it's plugged in. Now it says HDMI connected. Welcome to Samsung DeX. Now I'm gonna switch over to the big screen and we'll see how this looks. Okay, here we go. Now in the phone's display, it says welcome to Samsung DeX. Your phone's connected to your display. Now you're ready for the full desktop experience. Any apps you have open may close when you start or exit the Samsung DeX. Save your data before starting or exiting the Samsung DeX. Hit start to start using. All right, so I just hit start. Here we go. Now I'm doing this in real time. I never used this yet. So let's go through this together. Okay, let's see if the mouse is connected. HDMI cable connected. Let's see. All right, now let me get my mouse together first. My bad, y'all. I got a phone call and the number popped up on the screen. So I had to edit that out. Now on the side note, one thing I just noticed, there's no speakers built into the decks, so all of the sound is gonna play directly from your phone. All right, so let's go through some of the features and options. On the bottom left, you got your apps. So these are all my apps on my phone. Let's exit out of that. You got your recently used apps button. You got your home button and your back button. Now on the other side, this is collapsible. So we can open this up or close it up. You can see I'm downloading some apps in the background. Got my YouTube, Google Play. These are recently used apps. Also got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, your battery level percentage. You have an on-screen keyboard. Now I'm not gonna need this because I'm using a wireless keyboard. You got your volume controls. You got a nice dedicated screenshot button. Take a nice screenshot, draw, crop, or share, just like on your phone. And you got your search tool. Now you can see I'm getting notifications right here. I could just open them up if I wanted to. And you got your date and time. 
Now let's go to settings real quick. We're gonna double click on this. Now you'll notice you get some new settings. So let's check out Samsung deck settings. Okay, so you got screen timeout. I'll leave that for 10 minutes. You got wallpapers for Samsung decks, pointer speed, show the virtual keyboard, and about. Now we can minimize this or close it out altogether. Now let's see, um, there's one more wallpapers for Samsung decks. Let's open that up. We'll pick something from the gallery. Let's use Zerks. <laughs> Shout out to Xerxes. We'll set this for both. Set as wallpaper. There we go. So we got the white shoes as the wallpaper. Now let's go through some of the apps and see how this looks on a big screen TV. Let's open up apps. Let's go to, uh, let's see. Let's check Instagram first, why not? I'm already feeling this so far though. Here goes Instagram. Now, Instagram, you're not gonna be able to, uh, to open up full screen, but you get the full Instagram experience. Let's go ahead and like that photo real quick. No doubt. Oh, it's a lot of activity on the gram tonight. Okay, like that one too. All right, so we'll exit out of that. Let's go to, uh, <laughs> I know, I know. Let's go to YouTube. Let's see how the YouTube videos come out on this. All right, so we'll go to YouTube. Let's click on some injustice. Just to go back to it. Now, if y'all can hear it, the sound is coming out of my phone. Let's go to full screen. Uh, as far as no losses this week. Right now, Theo is undefeated. Uh, and Sonic Fox finally okay, there goes the full screen. Same experience as you have on your phone. Both of these characters hurt so much. Let's see. Let's, let's minimize this. Let's see if we can open some more apps at the same time. Let's go to uh let's go to Facebook. Okay, so now we got Facebook open at the same time. So we can move these. Now it is moving a little bit slow. Not as fast as a regular computer, but it's still working. Let's go to uh Facebook. Okay, let's uh, let's see. We'll open up one more app. Go to, <laughs> I gotta get used to using this on the big screen, but it's kind of dope. Let's take it back to the gram, why not? Take it back to Instagram. Alright, so this is cool. So that all of the apps open at the same time. I still got my YouTube. I can watch my videos. Okay. Go ahead and like that photo. This is pretty cool. Though. We'll put this in full screen. Now let's go to full screen. I wonder if we can do full screen on this. Now it's not looking like it's letting me go to complete full screen. Might be the resolution. We'll see. Let's try a different one. Yeah, you see? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay, now we got full screen. Oh, this is dope. This is dope. All right, so let's just let's uh, escape out of this. We'll close that out, and we'll close this one out. All in all, is this worth 150 bucks? I would say yes, because now when I travel, instead of having to take a laptop with me, all I got to do is take the Samsung Dex, take my little foldable keyboard, my mouse, and an HDMI cable, and whatever hotel room I'm in, I can have a little computer right on deck. Now. If you don't plan on traveling and you're looking for another computer, you might be better off getting a Chromebook because if I notice one thing, it is going a little bit, a little bit slower. All right, so let's check one more thing. Let's take it over to the internet and check the browsing experience. All right, so the internet speed is moving pretty fast. Basically the same speed as using your phone. Now, if you're looking for gaming or you're looking for more speed, you might be better off getting a Google Chromebook. But if you're looking for portability, this is a go. And for me, this just looks so hot on my desktop setup. This is a must have. So 150 bucks, this is a go in my opinion. Anyway, so this is the Samsung Dex. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. 
Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot, one to beam up. Energize.